Singapore and Brunei have stood by each other over the decades and will continue to be natural partners as two small countries navigating an increasingly dangerous and turbulent world, said Prime Minister Lawrence Wong on June 11. Affirming the special relationship between both sides, he said the close neighbours are firmly committed to extending cooperation into new areas as they mark 40 years of diplomatic ties this year. These include fields under sustainability, such as carbon markets and renewable energy, as well as urban planning, the digital economy and food security, PM Wong said in a toast speech at a lunch hosted by Brunei Sultan Hassan al PM Wong, who is on his first overseas trip since he took office in May, arrived in Bonda Seri Begawan in the morning with his wife, Miss Lu Zului. He was received by Crown Prince and Senior Minister at the Prime Minister's Office Almatidi Bila and his wife, Princess Pangaran Anak Sarah. He then had an audience with Sultan Bolkia and his wife, Roger Istri Pangaran Anak Hoja Salia, before the royal couple hosted him and his delegation to an official lunch at the Astana Nero Iman. PM Wong said the long-standing Singapore tradition for new leaders to kick off introductory visits in the region with Brunei reflects the special relationship the two countries have shared across successive generations of leaders. Former Prime Minister Lee Shin Long did so when he took office in 2004, and both President Taman Shamugaram and former President Halima Yoko also made Brunei their first stop for their overseas state visits. This reflects the importance that Singapore accords to our relationship with Brunei, our special and most trusted partner, said PM Wong. At the official lunch, Sultan Bokia said the key pillars of Singapore and Brunei's partnership are in defence and finance. To which PM Wong agreed. The jungles of Tamborong have been an excellent and real estate training ground for generations of Singaporeans, including me and many in my delegation. Noted PM Wong. This has contributed to the operational readiness of the Singapore Armed Forces, and we are continuing to do more to enhance the professionalism of our respective armed forces and build trust between them. He added. In December 2023, he had witnessed the commissioning of KDB Al Farak, the second of two former fearless class patrol vessels transferred from the Republic of Singapore Navy to the Royal Brunei Navy. On finance, PM Wong said the Currency Interchangeability Agreement established 57 years ago continues to facilitate mutual investments, trade and tourism, and remains a hallmark of Singapore and Brunei's unique relationship. Under the 1967 agreement, both countries accept the currency notes and coins issued by the other and exchange them at par and without charge into their own currency. Underpinning all cooperation between the two countries are investments in developing people-to-people -people ties. Both between government officials and citizens, said PM Wong. He cited the inaugural batch of Bruneian officials seconded to Singapore government agencies under a work placement program. Who completed their stint in May? Work has already started on the next edition of the program, he added. An earlier initiative, the Young Leaders Program, is now in its 10th edition. PM Wong recounted that he was among the young Singapore office holders who had participated in the inaugural program in 2013. Exchanges like this ensure that officials at various levels from both sides continue to share best practices while building up their personal links with each other. He said. PM Wang also thanks Sultan Bolkia for his long-standing and wise stewardship of ties between both countries. As my team and I take over the leadership baton in Singapore, we will build on the strong foundations laid down by our predecessors and take our relations to even greater heights, said PM Wang. In the evening, PM Wang left for Malaysia for the second leg of his trip. On June 12, he will meet Malaysian Prime Minister and Minister for Finance Anwar Ibrahim 
as well as other Malaysian leaders, such as Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Rural and Regional Development Ahmad Sohat Hamidi and Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Energy Transition and Water Transformation Fidila Yusof. In Kuala Lumpur, PM Wong will be accompanied by Mrs. Wong, Minister for Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan and Minister of State for Communications and Information and Minister of State for Health Rahayu Mozam.